Today we're going to be making marry me chicken, which is smothered in a creamy sauce infused with sun-dried tomatoes. I'm sure anybody enjoying this chicken is definitely going to be saying yes. Hi, and welcome back to Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. In a bowl, we're first going to make our spice mix, which we're going to season the chicken with. For that, we're going to go in with two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of paprika, and since every relationship needs a little spice in it, we're going to go in with half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt, and we're going to add about half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Just going to stir it around and blend it all together. So we're going to go in with four chicken breasts, and now we're just going to sprinkle on that seasoning that we had made earlier on top of the chicken. This is going to add a ton of flavor to the chicken. And I'm sure anybody eating this chicken is going to say, I do. And we're just going to flip them over and season it on the other side. To a heavy bottom skillet on medium heat, we're going to add two tablespoons of oil. And while that's heating, Let's add half a cup of all-purpose flour to a bowl and season it with just a pinch of salt. And we're going to coat each chicken breast with the flour. Once we have coated both sides, we're going to add it to the skillet. And we're going to add just two breasts at a time because we want to sear them and not steam them. Once you get a good sear on one side, we're going to flip them over and sear them on the other side. Once you have finished searing two, you're going to take them off the pan and sear the other two. Now this is a one pot dish. So to the same pan, we're gonna add two tablespoons of oil and two tablespoons of butter. And once the butter has melted and mixed with the oil, we're gonna to toss in one onion, which we have finely chopped. Now we're gonna saute this for a while till the onion turns translucent. Now for some earthy flavor, we're gonna add four garlic cloves, which I've minced. And we're gonna continue sauteing till the garlic loses its raw flavor. No celebration or proposal is complete without some wine. So let's add in one cup of white wine. And we're gonna cook it for a while till the wine reduces and the alcohol cooks off. And now we're gonna season this with one teaspoon of Italian seasoning and half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And we're gonna give it a quick mix. For that creamy texture, we're gonna add in one cup of heavy cream and half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And let's give that another quick mix. Now for that authentic marry me chicken flavor, we're gonna add one third cup of sliced sun-dried tomatoes. And I like adding a little bit of the oil as well. With that, we're gonna add in about five to six basil leaves, which I have julienned. And now let's give that another mix and marry it all together. Now we're gonna season it with just half a teaspoon of salt, or you could add salt to taste, Remember, we have added Parmesan cheese, which is also a little bit on the salty side. And now we're gonna place the chicken into the sauce and allow it to cook till the internal temperature of the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Halfway through the cooking time, you've gotta flip the chicken breast over and let's baste it with some of that creamy sauce. And once it's ready, you're gonna take it off the heat and allow it to rest for about five to 10 minutes before you slice the chicken breast. For a dinner for two, I like to slice it and then place it in a bowl, smothered in the creamy sauce and garnished with fresh basil leaves. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give our marry me chicken a taste. Wow, it looks so delicious. I'm sure anybody who's gonna eat this is definitely going to say yes. Just look at that. Wow. Mmm. Wow, the sauce is so creamy and delicious, and the chicken is absolutely succulent. This is definitely a dish you will want to make for your loved ones. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.